the next topic is sewerage system okay so before going to uh, the different types of uh, sewerage system we can discuss uh, the basic terms again that is in the first class we have discussed about sewage different types of uh, sewage extra so sewage means it is a mixture of water and waste waste products that is in order to remove this uh, waste products we are mixing the waste product with so much of water and the, so the mixture of water and the waste product is known as sewage and the sewage are of different types uh, they are uh, domestic sewage industrial sewage and uh, storm sewage so domestic sewage means it consists of liquid waste originating from urinals latrines bathrooms kitchen sinks wash basin etc of the residential commercial or institutional buildings and this domestic sewage is generally extremely foul because there will be presence of human excreta in it so domestic sewage will be extremely foul and uh, industrial sewage means industrial sewage consists of liquid waste originating from the industrial process of various industries uh, like uh, dyeing paper making etc okay and the quality of industrial sewage mainly depends upon the type of industry and the chemicals used in the process sometimes they may be very foul and may require uh, so much of treatment before being disposed in the public sewers okay that is about industrial sewage and the sum total of domestic and industrial sewage is termed as sanitary sewage or simply sewage so sanitary sewage or simply sewage means it will be the sum of domestic sewage and industrial sewage okay next type of uh, sewage is storm sewage okay that is uh, storm sewage means the runoff resulting from the rain storm is usually uh, known as storm sewage and uh, it is also known as storm drainage or simply drainage and uh, uh, and uh, the the sewage that we have discussed uh, is uh, the sum of domestic sewage and industrial sewage and this sewage will be more foul as compared to the drainage so the sewage will uh, require uh, so much uh, treatment process before disposal okay uh, and the modern water carrier system uh, not only help in removing the domestic and industrial waste water but it also helps in removing the storm water drainage and the storm water drainage that is the runoff uh, resulting from the storm uh, also uh, sometimes it is also carried through the sewage of the sewerage system okay uh, so, so in some cases uh, this this is carried through separate set of drains and directly discharging the drainage water into the uh, body of water such as large lake or river uh because uh, the rain runoff is not as uh, foul as our sewage so no treatment is generally required to the uh, drainage discharge so when the drainage is taken along with the sewage it is known as combined system that is if the drainage is taken along with the sewage that type of system is known as combined system and if it is uh, uh, removed separately it is known as separate system okay so this type of uh, sewerage system we can discuss here that is sewerage system are mainly classified into three types that is combined system separate system and partially separate system we can discuss one by one first is combined system that is in combined system uh, both sanitary sewage and storm water are carried in a single sewer which is known as combined sewer system okay in combined system both the sanitary sewage sanitary sewage means it will be uh, the sum of domestic sewage and industrial sewage sanitary sewage is also known as simply sewage that is in combined system the sewage and storm water are collected through a single pipe okay and uh, when the flow in a combined sewer consists of only domestic sewage and industrial waste without storm water this flow is known as dry weather flow that is the combined system also known as dry weather flow if it, it is not containing the storm water that is if there is no rain water or uh, drainage through the pipe it is known as dry weather flow so in the case of dry weather flow weather flow there will be only domestic sewage and industrial waste there will not be any storm water okay so that is about combined system so this figure shows combined system that is here this is the combined sanitary waste and storm water that is through this pipe we are collecting the rain water that is uh, rain water that is runoff water is collected into the system through this pipe and also sewer from the house from this house is also transferred into this uh, this pipe and also there is uh, business wastewater and wastewater this is wastewater treatment facility and uh, the waste from this uh, industry is also carried into this combined system okay so in this combined system here there will be uh, domestic uh, sewage industrial sewage and also storm sewage so all these are collected uh, through a single pipe 
so this system is known as combined system okay and next is the advantages of combined system so here both domestic sewage and storm water are carried in a single sewer so construction cost is less here that is here only one single sewer is required so the cost of construction is less and the strength of domestic sewage is reduced because of dilution of storm water because uh, usually this domestic sewage will be very foul because uh, the human excreta will be included in the domestic sewage but since this domestic sewage is mixed up with the uh, storm water the intensity of that pollution is diluted okay so that is the next point and third point the sewages are of large size and therefore the chance of the choking are rare it is uh, easy to clean since uh, it is since we are carrying storm water industrial and residential waste through a single pipe the size of the sewer will be very high so uh, there will not be any choking process and also it will be easy to clean that pipe so that is the next advantage and in town with narrow street this system is preferred so if there is narrow street we cannot provide separate system for carrying storm water and also sanitary sewage so in that case we can adopt single combined system okay so these are the advantages of combined system next the disadvantages are uh, initial cost is high because of large dimension of sewer since uh, we have to uh, adopt uh, large dimension of sewer uh, the initial cost is very high because of large size of sewer the handling and transportation is also difficult okay and due to the inclusion of storm water the load on the treatment plant increases that is uh, the load will be very high because it includes storm water and also sanitary sewage next is during heavy rain the sewer may be overflow and may thus create unhygienic condition since storm water is also carried through the system if there is any high heavy rainfall uh, it may cause overflow okay and if the whole sewage is to be disposed of by pumping it is uneconomical so these are some of the disadvantages of combined system so this is combined sewerage system that is in combined sewerage system both sanitary sewer and uh, storm water is carried through a single sewer okay so, uh, through a single pipe it is carried to the wastewater treatment plant so this is the treated water so this is about uh, combined sewerage system next is separate system okay in this separate system in this type of system there will be two separate uh, sets of sewers that is one for collection and conveyance of sanitary sewage and other for the collection and conveyance of storm water okay that is separate system then as storm water is carried separately it is not foul in nature uh, in the previous one the storm water is mixed with uh, sanitary sewage so it will be foul but here the storm water is not uh, mixed up uh, with the uh, domestic sewage and the storm water is carried separately so it will not be foul in nature and normally disposed of to the natural uh, water course without any treatment that is one of the main advantages of uh, this uh, separate system that is we can uh, dispose this uh, storm water directly into the natural water course without any treatment and uh, whereas the sanitary sewage is taken to the treatment plant separately and after uh, uh, the required uh, treatment it is disposed of okay that is uh, the uh, that is the process which is taking place in separate system that is in separate system there will be two dif uh, two sewers one for collecting storm water and the se second one for co collecting sanitary sewer and storm water since storm water is not mixed up with the sanitary sewage it is directly disposed of to the uh, disposed of to the natural water course and the sanitary sewage is taken to the treatment plant and after uh, after taking the treatments uh, based upon the intensity of pollution it is uh, disposed of that is the process which is taking place in separate system so this is the figure showing separate system that is there will be two sewers one is uh, to carry the storm water second one is to carry the sanitary sewer so the waste from uh, so the sanitary sewer which is collected through this pipe is carried to the treatment plant and the water the storm water which is carried through this sewer is uh, directly uh, disposed to the Uh, lake or uh, open drains so this is separate system advantage size of the sewer is uh, less compared to the combined system since the sanitary sewage and storm water flows in a separate pipe the quantity of sewage to be treated is less okay since it is carried to carried through two different pipes there is no mixing up of this waste and the quantity of sewage to be treated is less in this uh, separate system as the sewer is small in section they can be easily ventilated okay next is during disposal if the sewage is to be pumped the separate system is cheaper it is uh, cheaper than our combined system 
and rain water can discharge into the streams without any treatment there is no need of treatment for this uh, storm water so these are the advantages of separate system next is disadvantage since the sewer are smaller size it is difficult to clean them that is one of the disadvantage and uh, so there is chance of choking and initial cost is high when two separate sets are used because here we require two two types of sewers so initial cost will be high maintenance cost is also very high since the uh, size of the pipe is uh, small generally self cleansing velocity is not available due to small quantity of sewage therefore flushing is required at various points in some cases when the waste when the quantity of waste is small uh, it, it may not acquire self cleansing velocity so at that time we have to provide flushing in order to uh, in order to move that uh, waste so these are the disadvantages of uh, separate system okay so this is separate system there will be two sewers one for carrying uh, storm water and it is directly uh, directly uh, disposed to the uh, lake next sewer is to carry a uh, sanitary sewer and the sanitary sewer is carried to the treatment plant next is partially separate system so in this partially separate system only one set of underground sewer is laid and this sewer admit the sanitary sewage as well as the early washings from the drainage area due to rains that is there will be only single pipe and it will be carrying both sanitary sewage and storm water okay when the storm water exceeds its specified limit the excess is diverted to the natural water course that is the difference here if uh, the storm water exceeds the specified limit it will be diverted into natural water course that is the difference between partially separate and combined system okay here also both the uh, storm water and the sanitary sewage is collected to a single pipe and when the storm water exceeds its specified limit this uh, it is diverted into natural water course that is partially separate system and the advantage is the sewer are of reasonable size and the cleaning is uh, not difficult and it combines the advantages of both separate and uh, combined system by taking the advantages of uh, the previous two systems we are uh, uh, we are com uh, we are using the partially separate system okay and the work of house plum plumbing is reduced because the rain water from roofs are leached from baths kitchens extra can be taken in the pipe carrying the discharge from uh, water closet next the disadvantage is uh, during dry weather flow uh, disposition take place in sewer next uh, as initial storm water is included the cost of pumping and size of disposal unit increases okay that is cost of pumping and size of disposal unit increases since initial storm water is included next is the storm water increases the load on the treatment unit that is uh, since uh, storm water is uh, also collected uh, the load on treatment unit increases and there are possibility of overflow requiring the construction of storm water overflow okay so uh, uh, disadvantage means during dry weather flow uh, there will not be any uh, storm water so there will be deposition the position will take place in the sewer and uh, uh, the cost of pumping and size of disposal unit increases since uh, initial storm water is included and uh, the storm water will increase the load on the treatment unit and there will be possibility of overflow and this uh, this overflow will require the construction of storm water overflow so these are the disadvantages of uh, partially separate system so in the case of partially separate system uh, there is a single uh, pipe and uh, through the sewer uh the sanitary sewage is uh, passed into this uh, this pipe okay that is the waste from this house is uh, transferred into this sewer pipe and also drainage is also collected and the overflow uh, overflow uh, storm water will be carried to the uh, drains directly and uh, the uh, rain water which is collected from the roof that is roof drains are collected through this sewer okay that is in this system the storm water the only part of the storm water is collected through the sewer that is the roof drain is collected into the sewer and uh, other part that is the storm drain uh, which is which is as the run of water is collected to the uh, to the open drains this is partially separated system so these are the different types of uh, sewerage system they are combined system separate system and partially separate system okay thank you